I know I'm in an exotic car show, but this is so nice. Black cherry's my color. The same color I had on my Mustang back in the day. Man, the color fit is so nice. I'd be so hard pressed to even think how you could even track down a painter to do a candy color like this today. That's it. <laughs> say, Give I me said, all this build up. Yeah. I said, oh. hmm. Okay. Well, but the funny thing is, says in this <laughs> Porsche's in the house. That's what you could do in an aluminum body. <laughs> Original rough. Wow, I don't even know if I caught that center exhaust. I couldn't even think about blacking out my center lens. I think it's $365. Not an option. And 75. Oh, actually, for any C2. Or I guess maybe in yours is faded. Probably an option. Ooh, this is an I don't know. It's got to be Ferrari based, I'm thinking. No? What is this? Knockout? Is that what the KO is for? Alright, gentlemen. What's up, bro? Oh, Japanese, huh? Ooh, what it sound like, what it sound like, what it sound like. Is it electric? Oh no, look at the motor. Man, that thing's like three inches off the ground. V10. Carbon ceramic brakes. Let's see if I can find out who they're by. I don't know. 
where that might be sourced from. It's got cameras down here. I guess you can protect yourself from banging up your rims, depending on how much they are. Besides of that, 21s in the front. Usually you don't see 21s on the front. We got it all the way around, what we got back here? We got 22s in the back. It's a decent setup. It's just that the 21s cost so much more for tires. That is really, really LaFerrari inspired, in my opinion. That air induction on the side. Well, I would gotta say Ferrari inspired. It has to be. And then I want to see that front clip is right out of an Enzo or a TVR. TVR headlights, Enzo front clip, a little Aston Martin ish with the grill. It was burning. Man, that is so low on the ground. Some of the benefits are coming early. It's one thing to see things that are cool, but another thing to hear things fire up and who the owners are. Connecting that front clip. See that? Can't figure out what that is. Now, when I design stuff. Just one thing to come up with an idea, but yeah. method of attachment is always an issue. What if a brake somebody hits it? How do you rebuild it? Is that acrylic or a light? Because I don't know what that is. Coil over suspension, can't tell who it is. Okay, I'm going to try to get you guys some interior shots before they rope this thing off, but I am sure you're not going to be able to get that close later. Okay, so we got Ferrari. Whoa! Got a whole instrument panel. I don't know what that is on the far right. Let's see. Yeah, kilometers. Okay, interesting. That's a Ferrari button. Huh. Then he pulled the start button. Steering wheel, that's interesting. Come on, let's get you cleared up. There we go. Sauce we got here. Oh, it's a nice case. Wait a minute, what's starting? Oh. Okay, as you know, I like working with the exotic wood, so we got here we got zebra wood, we got some filled maple, and wingate. I don't know what that is. So, the way it works is we got zebra wood. The light one is maple, and then Wingay is the dark brown one. Both those two are from Africa, and um, the maple.
Well, as you know, it's a domestic. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Hmm. That is not real wood. That's paint. Why would you put paint here but real wood in the back? That's kind of awkward to me, but whatever. Really? It looks like you opted to paint it in the front, right? But you got real wood in the back. The reason why we didn't want to put the real wood here is because just the thickness. Use yeah. veneer. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, when, it, when it, it's all shut, it's like, it's compound. And th this wasn't planned until like later on in uh, later stages of it. What we're doing inside here. Huh. So, that's just how to turn. Yeah, we could use veneer. Yeah, because, uh, well, I mean, that could be hardwood too, but uh, yeah. usually that's what's used, but cool. It's a good simulation though, I like it. Yeah. Well, they, it has still the vertical slants, like the, the seats, so when you look, everything is stacked vertical, even like on the console there. Kind of oh, right, right, I see that. So like, you know, so everything is horizontal up and down, you know what I mean, so. Hmm. I haven't seen wood grain in a classic since I did my Impala. Stunning. Stunning. Very nice. What's the name? And that reasoning for doing paint instead of veneer didn't make no sense to me. That is from Nelson Racing, most likely. That's their upper intake. And they usually start at like, what, 70,000? You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but usually 70,000 for a motor. But the way they treat you, man, like scum is unreal. I remember going to SEMA and guys were doing motors like this in the factory fives and uh, they talked about how they were just janked around for years trying to get their motor done and even when they got it to the exhibit or to a car show the, the motor still wasn't done. That's just been my experience of dealing with or talking to people that has done business with Nelson Racing. I've never seen these motors actually tested. They look great. They even got a patent on the... Uh, the turbos that go the same direct I mean opposite directions. But uh it's you know nightmares to work with. Yeah. Old school. I don't know what a secret is in my calendar. So this is yours? I've never seen a Maserati like this before. My father used to wear gloves like this when he used to drive his Faso Vega. That used to be so exciting to me when he used to grab those gloves. That's a true Father's Day flashback to me. We don't even want to ask how much those wire wheels are. They usually like 15 G's each. At least I know for the Faso Vega they hover around that much. Man, I gotta say, this build is pretty impressive. Very clean, man. Like, I know that sounds weird because we're at a car show, especially one like this, but. I don't know what chemicals he uses on this. There's a ceramic coat or something, but this thing is really clean. I gotta find out. Oh my gosh. You two guys are close up. Look at that. See, man. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. Is this ceramic coated at all, or do you put any kind of coating on here other than. It's waxed, that's about it. Really? See the headers? Way too cool. Way too cool. A little modern uh, interpretation of my most favorite car in the world. Well, you know, you know, and it's really funny because you can do whatever you want as long as you check the wheels and do something wrong. Yeah, it was so much fun. What was kind of cool too is uh, the.
Oh, that's how you spend money in my opinion. Make yourself stand out. Gotta get over to that Ford GT in a sec. Yeah, not feeling it. Moving right along. This is different. Chop tops, huh? Not feeling the color of the interior though. Lame. How oh, boring. Are those bullets? Just so you know, car guys hate when people put stuff in our cars when we do a car show. It's like littering in our cars. I don't care about your upcoming show. She's impressed. More bullets. Man, they just came in with a theme. It was like, let's just put it everywhere. I'm surprised they didn't create some lug nuts. I give it two for the color though. I like burgundy. The color combination's all right. But I wouldn't press play myself. Love the body design though. I'm feeling it in the rims. Rest old ride look. Feeling it? Ooh, I see a 63 down there. To be continued. Now that's a nice looking color combination. Now I wouldn't have thought about it myself with the blue and brown. But that's nice. It's really clean. Yeah, it's really clean. There you go. Ooh, the smell coming off this thing. It just resonates just new. Very nice. Yeah, I, I don't really get this at all. Like, at all. I forgot why the reason why they had to have the trunk propped up. I think they added metal to it. I forgot that whole reason is back in the day, but I, I just can't even imagine why this car is on a show like this. Hmm. Moving right along. This year, yes, yes. Ooh. East Coast bumper kit on it. This is a California car. You can see that with the three-piece bumper. I don't like the side skirt stuff. Laces. Mm-hmm. Is it a stick? Yes. That means this is a 409. This would be a car to have. What we got? What we got? What we got? That ain't a 409. So they must have reduced this for a 327. Why? I don't know. But I don't know any 327 sticks. East Coast bumper grill in the front. A few violations, but whatever. Man, this thing is like a block long. Like. Dude, I'm only gonna bet you this thing is longer than an Impala. Look, I can get that all in one frame. This one I got leftovers. That's crazy. That is crazy. This thing is crazy long. Like. Okay, way too many mids. You need to learn that phrase, less is more. Got an LS3 in here, huh? Hmm. LS3 Cadillac, custom badges. All right. I told myself this might be my first purchase I hit a lot of. Well, that and the big yellow school bus, but. With the old school jacks. I'm not feeling the bumper at all, though. Not at all. But I'd love to take that car into a retro. Super. 
It's a lot of money right here. Every time I see this car, I think about Barrett Jackson. Oh man, I love me some burgundy on a car. I think almost any car. Interior, so nice. What we got? It looks like a. Okay, that's Rosewood back here along the door. That has to be like a. Yeah, that's a walnut. So they got two different species of wood in here. So that's a walnut right here on the door. Man, let me clear that. So that's walnut. And then it feeds around. Excuse me, that's rosewood. And then it feeds around into walnut. Don't know why they would have done that. Now, this is an interesting car. Tremendous amount of detail. It's your fuel cell. That's like a knife handle or what. But this thing is literally wrapped in leather on the outside. And a dash, man. Wow. I just want to toot the horn, toot the sound like. That is a tremendous amount of detail. I'm not into these old cars, really not. Really, really, really not. But, I mean, what's with the leather everywhere? Like, that's not even, like, practical. Do they really do an old car like this? Interesting. Another fuel cell exposed. Looks like a common thing. This whole... This whole leather or material on the outside of the car. I guess we're in Jay Leno's world. Big old tire, sure ain't going to pit boys. Old school balls. Um, I don't understand. Remember, fellas, back in the day, everybody wanted a high output, high patrol, a Mustang engine. Everybody used to fly to the auctions just to get these cars once they retired them. We thought we'd get, what, 20% more horsepower or something like that by having a high output, highway patrol, Mustang, 5.0 engine. <laughs> Boy, the things we used to do. Ooh, I see my Miami Vice Ferrari over there to the left. Oh, we got some Koenigsegg action. You know the Jesco's got to be over here. Where's GT? The new McLaren. This one of benefits by coming early. Oh, the Jesco is not here. That's interesting. It was at Sunset GT a couple weeks ago. You'd have thought they'd maybe kept it in the city. Guess not. Well, let's walk over. Everybody's seen a Koenig Zig before. Yeah. Next. There's Chiron over there. Huracan. <laughs> 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 McLaren. Just released. Killing themselves over this Bugatti. Like I'm sure you can Google whatever perspective you could ever want of a Bugatti at this point. Huracan still holding it down, in my opinion. We got some Aston Martin action. Too bad they lost their designer to Ford. I think they came out with some really cool designs. SUVs, a little Bentley action. 
kind of concludes this show. I'll do a second video in case I come across something I either missed or want to do a do over with. But I think that's it. Yeah, Bentley sure does sit funny. Feel free to leave some comments, some expressions. I think I called out something wrong. Something you might like want to see like next time. Or want me to put some more emphasis on. Let me know. Next show.